chemistry is really a fundamental uh, science. Um, everything around us is associated with chemistry. When I first started studying organic, I had warm fuzzies for my textbook. I actually coveted my textbook. I just thought this is really cool. I remember one of my best friends, when I was just talking about, you know, I was doing my homework and stuff, he just said I was going to make a crazy professor someday. I take Professor Houston on purpose because I find she explains things much more clearly than I understand. She tells you what a concept is not rather than it is first so that you, you get a clearer idea. She makes Okim seem really easy and it's one of the most difficult subjects in, in college, one of the most failed ones actually. Yeah, I used to be scared of Okim but I'm not <laughs> anymore and it's definitely due to her. She's so straightforward and she tells you exactly what you need to know. The major challenge with organic chemistry is really trying to convince them that we do the same thing over and over and over again. But it's really, really challenging because you get these stringy molecules written up on the board, and all the student sees is just all these, you know, lines going everywhere. You can try to do it the old-fashioned way and master organic chemistry by memorizing every piece of material that you can, and you're going to fail miserably because there's nobody who can memorize all that kind of stuff. I said, but if you kind of look for the repeat pattern and stuff like that, it takes those millions of reactions down to about 15 types of reactions and that you can manage. See what's going to happen is you have this carbonyl here and definitely water can attack it, okay? Definitely that can happen. But that acetal, that hemiacetal that results there is two molecules going to one molecule. She explains it in a manner that she feels we're going to understand rather than in a manner that she thinks she should understand. She's very uh, natural, she's very uh, humble, she doesn't like try to you know pretend that she could never be wrong at anything and if she does make a mistake she'll work I mean work it out right there and sort of helps your thinking process along too. Sometimes if you make a mistake on the board it's almost human nature just to try to cover it up but I actually try to turn that into learning experience and that's one actually another way they can identify with me because that's what they do when they're learning when they're practicing the homeworks and stuff they make mistakes and they need to sort of critically evaluate what is wrong with their problem and then fix it. The process of studying, of learning, of working through frustration, and all that kind of stuff is what I hope that they take away from you know, making it through general chemistry or making it through organic chemistry. Our study skills and a work ethic that will allow them to be successful throughout their whole career. There is not one day that I, I don't feel happy to be there and it's an enjoyable subject now for me. I, I honestly think organic is my favorite subject this semester, and she, she's the reason for it. I'm not here just to, to teach the exceptional students. I'm paid to teach all of my students. Teaching is immediate, continual gratification. When I'm walking to work in the morning, I'm looking forward to my day. And I don't think that a lot of people in the world can say that. And so I am lucky. Every day I feel like every day has meaning. I plan on teaching until I retire.